In winter we have relatively dry air that can cause various problems. This is where this comes in, an ultrasonic humidifier, which consists of a PSO element that vibrates at an ultrasonic frequency to toss fine water droplets in the air which evaporate quickly, and such create a mist layer. These elements are cheap and only require a 24 volt source to function. The reason why we have dry air in winter is simple. Relative humidity describes how saturated the air is with water. 0% means dry air and 100% means saturated air. This means the air can no longer hold any more water. The amount of water that air can hold depends on temperature. Also the numeric value of how much water is in the air is called absolute humidity. So if the air is cold and fully saturated, then warms up in the house, but keeps the same water content, the relative humidity drops. If the air outside is zero degree and fully saturated with water and then comes into the house and warms up to like 25 degrees, it ends up having a relative humidity of 21%. So it still has 80% capacity to suck up more water. Good, with all that science out of the way, let's check the mist maker out. After covering the whole element in water and connecting power, it will start to create mist, but also quite a lot of water droplets that fly out of the container. The mist is cold and is heavier than room air. With that in mind, I created a dish that keeps the splashes inside and will also blast the mist through a nozzle that will disperse it into the room. To waterproof the cable hole, I would use two component epoxy. I use hot glue in this case, which works just fine and is still removable in case I have to change something later. I thought that the fog could look quite nice with some illumination. That's why I left a small pouch in the nozzle for a single LED that can be controlled via Arduino. The fully controllable LED chip is a bit overkill, but it's what I had around. And with that, the build is finished and is ready to be connected. The LED is a bit too dim for my studio light, but looks quite nice in normal lighting. 